So here we have the Mini Cooper S Diesel Countryman on an automatic. Uh, let's start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll see we've got those twin exhausts which are unique to the S and the S Diesel Countryman. Uh, we've got reversing sensors as well. There's plenty of boot space along with three individually folding rear seats. Those rear seats also slide forwards and backwards as two separate units as well to give you either more legroom or more boot space. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. In front of us there we have the rev counter, digital readout for the speedometer, and the total miles on this car are 4,970. You can change information displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk. And also on there you can see we've got the gear this car is currently in as it's an automatic. We're in P4 Park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we have stereo controls and voice activation for the phone. And on the right hand side we have cruise control. These paddles uh, will change up and down a gear uh, on either side. So they do the same thing on both sides but down a gear, up a gear. Uh, if you wish to change gear in a kind of a manual mode on this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we have the main uh, kind of analog, if you like, uh, speedometer for the car, as well as the fuel gauge. And then we have the radio and various other music things just below that. So first of all, you can see that we're on FM radio at the moment. If I go to mode, tuner is FM, DAB is obviously the digital radio. We have a CD player, auxiliary input, and USB input as well, so plenty of ways to listen to your music. If we hit menu, that's where you can pair up your phone. Configure is where you can change various language settings. You can change your fuel consumption, for example, to uh, from mile, miles per hour to kilometers per liter, uh, depending on you know the settings you like it to be on. You can also change your time from there as well. Below that, we have the CD player and then the air conditioning. So fan speed is adjustable on this side. Temperature over here. Hit that button to turn the air conditioning on. This dial will determine where within the car the air is being distributed. We can recirculate the air that's in the car, which is a great way of heating it up quickly or cooling it down quickly, depending on the time of year. And we've got a heated rear screen as well, just there. At the bottom, front and rear fog lights, we can put the car into sport mode. So that will put the gearbox into sport mode, so it revs higher in each gear. Uh, deadlocks, that locks the car doors from the outside, and you can turn off traction control from here as well. We then have the fully automatic gearbox and it will show you what gear you're in there as well as up on the steering wheel that I showed you a moment ago. And we have auxiliary and USB input just down here. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.